Our technologies should reflect our values. And that's not always obvious, and it's often in contradiction to the goals of tech companies, but as educators, we have a responsibility to make tech choices whenever we can that promote access, equity, inclusion, and education for everyone who so chooses. For me, active meaning making via readership is one such value. In a big way, digital annotation tools help us empower the reader to be more than a passive recipient of knowledge that belongs to other people. To that end, I'm reviewing Hypothesis, an open resource digital annotation tool. So while there are many digital annotation tools, Hypothesis is my focus today because it shares the same social justice goals that many of us in education espouse. Hypothesis is a nonprofit whose aim is to bring open conversation to the web via an open source software layer that applies to all web content. Their platform is rooted in principles of free, open, neutral, controlled by users, not owners, and lasting. Their long-term goals include the ability to annotate web videos and images, not just text. Now their site about page, in fact, includes this animated video that walks viewers through the history of text. The first reference to digital annotation comes from the premise that reasoning together is the best antidote to our tendencies to be blind to evidence that doesn't fit into our pre-existent vision of the world. This collaborative reasoning lays out the vision for the web, including collaborative meaning making, as its goal. The creators detail the journey of annotated software through Mark Andreessen and Eric Bina, who developed the first collaborative annotation interface called Mosaic back in 93, to launch a discussion of content on every internet page. And since 93, more than 50 projects have tried to reimagine the vision of Andreessen and Bina, but they were unsuccessful for lots of reasons. So according to the creators, Hypothesis is an interface that creates the web as it was originally intended this collaborative space for users to make and share meaning. You can hear in the background of the introductory video this drum line of revolutionary era soldiers fighting for freedom and access to a better world. And you hear in that music their mission. It's not purely technological. It's ideological as well. It espouses a world of social collective intelligence, a record of processes of thinking and ubiquitous collaboration. Digital annotation tools specifically, like Hypothesis, allow and even encourage the collection of voices that speak to a particular text, putting readers into a position of co-creators in conversation with one another. Hypothesis has begun moving into educator spaces, so there are plenty of help guides out there to help you set this up, but the short version of it is you want to set up an account for yourself. You want to add the Chrome extension. Chrome is highly recommended. It's the only one I've ever used for Hypothesis. Um, that way, the icon to add the Hypothesis layer is always available in your web browser. You ask students to register as well. They don't have to, but it is really helpful for them to register. So once you have something, some text that is open access on the web, all you do is click the hypothesis icon that's already built into your web browser. It adds that layer, creates a proxy page essentially, and all you do is copy paste that link, share it with students, and they're off. I do recommend, and Hypothesis does too, tagging those annotations. Since these pages are open to any user, you can, though I never have, get outside annotators. But if you tag, that helps you sort specifically to your students' annotations and helps them sort through and find annotations that are specific to your course. This software seeks solely to collect voices, interpretations, and put readers in conversation with one another to make a very plural meaning with one another. In the examples that you're seeing here, notice what the readers are doing when they're invited to be co-creators, making up the substance of a text. In these examples, readers are drawing connections among one another and among extant texts. They're reflecting this multilinear reading experience. These examples show how readers enact natural intertextual reading, crafting further texts to and for intertextual interaction via one another's notes. This interface also provides um, haptic engagement. 
For example, the clicking and the linking and the scrolling that's coupled with the easy sharing of videos, images, soundtracks, soundtracks, hypertext links, and memes to fill the margins. The textual options of multimodal meaning making are greatly expanded with the hypothesis interface as well, engaging nearly all the readers' available modes. What I claim here is that we can empower readers to be more than passive recipients. We can ask them to actively make meaning of text using digital annotation tools like Hypothesis.